Hey up guys, it's Kyle here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. And I'm only going to do like a few missions here, maybe another boss battle if we get to that. Because I don't have a lot of time. Um, because, as you know, or some of you know, I only record when my parents are out so they don't like disturb me. Because usually they'll just walk in unannounced and be like, Oh, we're going here, we're going there. And I don't really give a shit, I'd rather just play my games and you know, do some editing. And actually, I want to just discuss something real quick with you guys. Um, I would like to see more comments on my videos because I know they get a lot of views and I know a lot of them are from like Facebook views and stuff because of the analytics. I know that. I can see where my views are coming from. And a lot of them are from Facebook. So to those people who share on Facebook, thank you very much. And um, a few have been shared on Twitter. I know that because I actually got some responses on Twitter saying uh, that my video has been shared. And some people at reply me and stuff like that, so that's uh, that's nice of them. Also, um, so yeah, comments is nice. Likes, uh, really nice. I like seeing um, more comments and I do likes, even though likes help a lot more. But um, you know, doing both, it's only like a click and then some words. Just like click, Snake is such a badass, or some just something, just something to let me know that you actually watching the videos, because some people just watch. And then click off or watch like click off you know and we've seen this cutscene before so I'll skip that and um, yeah oh, I've, uh, I think I've already shown that bit and I believe I've already shown this bit and I believe I've already shown like every single piece you're about to see but I have uh, formatted my hard drive on my computer so pretty much uh, yeah here we are pretty much uh, <laughs> If the video quality is a bit poo, I apologise. I've lost every single piece of settings I ever had before. So I have to get Vegas again, Sony Vegas. So that's going to be a bit of an issue and trying to get all my settings back because they were pretty good to begin with. But anyway, that is beside the point. I really should have saved when I got there rather than afterwards. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, comments are always nice. I uh, got the lemon green tea here, obviously. Always got to have that. And, um,. Someone requested that I do a. Oh, I've got to install. Okay, I'll just talk to you for a little bit. Someone requested I do a let's play slash speed run of Mirror's Edge. Now, if you want to see that, I'll definitely do it because, oh my God, I played Mirror's Edge a couple days ago just to see if I if I could actually manage to do a speed run anymore because I used to do them really well. I used to love that game. Still love it, but like you know. I had a let's play before and it was really slow. Like I actually watched watched it back when I actually had it up and I was like, oh my god, Kyle, why are you so slow? When I look at the roots and I'm like, I could easily just flow through that like water and I'm not doing it. So I also got a new headset because my other one snapped again. Fucking turtle beaches, they are absolutely flimsy as shit. I take care of my stuff like really well. I've had a DS for like since they first came out, like the month they came out, and it still works. It's still intact. I've had a Game Boy that my grandma used to have, and the screens come off the the frontal cover, but it still works. Now this headset still works, but it's in pieces. Like fucking, it's shattered into like a thousand pieces on the like ear cups because it's a piece of shit. Like I tried to super glue it back together, and because uh, that worked in the other pair absolutely fucking disgraceful because this didn't even stick it just sort of fell apart and then yeah that's that so I got a new pair it's the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 limited edition the only reason I got them is because they're cheaper they're cheaper than the ones I could have had which were like 60 quid I'm like holy fuck I'm not spending that amount of money for sound really or and a, and a microphone I could get a microphone for 5p from like Poundland it would probably be shit, like really shit. Like probably sound like I'm a robot half the time, but you know, I could get one. And I know these microphones I've got on the Turtle Beaches, they're not the best, but they do the job, you know? They do the job. And there's a mission briefing. I wanna to talk to you about something else, so I'm gonna cut I'm gonna voice over this bit. Um I actually have the scheduled uploader now on YouTube, so what what time do you guys think I should upload my videos? Because currently I've been uploading them at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, British Standard Time, GMT. But, 
you know, if you can convert your time into mine, like, um, I love this little sunny thing about the eggs. There's actually a story behind that. I might tell you later. Um, so if you... Uh, what am I saying? Fucking, let me get my head back in the game. Whew. Okay, head's in the game. Right. What time would you like to see? Because mine's been 3 o'clock usually. You guys might want 4 o'clock, you might want early, you might want midday. So, depending, you know. So, give me some responses and I'll uh, I'll try and adjust my time accordingly to what you guys want. Anyway, I'm going to shush here because Sonny has some things to say. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Who knows? I'll shush. a stealth nuclear warhead at JD. I thought you couldn't control the nuke with GW. We can't. We've taken over their guns and heavy weapons, but the WMDs are still under JD's control. That's where Rex comes in. I know where to find nukes they don't control. Vamp, how long until Rex is ready? All that's left is the final check. We've identified JD's location through GW, and abandoned 20th century satellite orbit, disguised as debris. A clever place to hide. Hmm, satellite orbit. With a stealth nuke, there's no need to worry about the Patriots intercepting it. By the time they realize what's happening, it'll all be over. Once JD, the core AI is destroyed, GW's priority will rise to one, and all the systems under JD's control will then be ours to command. Now go, prepare our haven. Yes, brother. <laughs> what the devil is this? Video feed from the Mark II cuts off here. Haven. Yeah. Drebin was saying something about that. <laughs> In the beginning, the Patriot system was controlled by four AIs, with JD at the top. One of those AIs was GW. The Patriots thought it had been destroyed, but Liquid was able to use it as cover to slip inside the system. GW was one of the Patriot Cell AIs. It was installed on Arsenal gear. Emma's worm should have put it permanently out of commission. But Liquid somehow recovered and repaired it. I'm guessing JD must be unable to recognize GW, even though it's inside the Patriot system. It's a blind spot. GW was written off as lost while it was still tied in. <coughs> Using it let Liquid interfere with the AI from the inside. He made contact under the guise of Big Boss's genetic code. Even the AI threat detection system was fooled. <coughs> That's why they made Arsenal go berserk five years ago. GW was on board. Where is this haven? Where is their base? Don't worry. Mei Ling is using the position of the Mark II's last transmission to predict the course of Liquid's ship. It's only a matter of time before we find him. <coughs> said something about Rex being ready Rex 
You mean... Shadow Moses? It's Campbell. The U.S. military's systems are all in Liquid's hands now. The regional systems have all been shut down. Guns are falling silent across the Earth. It's the first total ceasefire in human history. How's the White House responding? The public? The President has yet to make an official announcement. But the media is starting to pick up on it. <coughs> the information's gonna be controlled anyway. Not this time. The war economy is ground to a complete halt. It's tough to play down a crisis of these proportions. War economy related stocks are already going into a free fall. They must be shitting themselves at the White House right about now. <laughs> In any case, America had better sleep soundly while she still can. Liquid's insurrection is about to begin. The first thing he'll do is try to destroy the system that Patriots built to control the U.S. He's already taken the system. No. Supreme Authority still resides with JD, which the Patriots still command. Which is why Liquid plans to launch a nuclear strike on JD in its orbit. But Liquid only controls SOP, and SOP only controls guns and small firearms. Unless he gains supreme authority, Liquid can't use America's nukes and ballistic missiles. So how's he gonna launch this strike? <coughs> Good question. The U.S. converted its nuclear arsenal to reliable replacement warheads two years ago. RRWs. Yes. The core of the RRWs is now completely ID controlled by the SOP system. You'd need supreme authority from JD itself to control them. And they can be shut down remotely in case of an emergency. All the old nukes were pulled out of service when they deployed the replacements. If Liquid can't use the nukes, then... <clears throat> then what's his plan? <coughs> That's it. He's going to use Rex. What? Rex was scrapped before the Sons of the Patriot system was implemented. Of course. The rail garden. Indeed. Rex's railgun can launch a stealth nuclear warhead into space unconstrained by the system. In short, it's the only device they have that is able to launch a nuke. Liquid's going to use it to kill JD and deliver the coup de grace to the Patriots' reign. Campbell, where's Rex now? I think you know. A long forgotten base in U.S. territory outside the Patriots' control. The place where Liquid made his debut, his monument, off the Alaskan coast in the Fox Archipelago. Shadow Moses Island. <coughs> if Liquid destroys JD, and his GW assumes total control over the system, he'll have the world at his fingertips. And no one will be able to stop him. Not even the Patriots. You are the only ones who can save us now. Snake, I'm counting on you. Defeat Liquid and put an end to his insurrection.
enough is enough, Snake. You can't take any more of this. I'm not dead yet. That's not what I mean. You can't beat Liquid. He's got the Patriot's own control system on his side. Not only are weapons useless, but the U.S. military is in shambles. And even if it weren't, Liquid's got enough men and machines to match it. Things can't get any worse. Face it, Snake. We've lost. Otacon. We never stood a chance. It's not about winning or losing. I... No. We started this. From now on, I'm living my life by my own will. <laughs> it was never going to work out for me. It even rained the day I was born. You've got it all wrong. You were the lightning in that rain. You can still shine through the darkness. The lightning. Raiden. Look at me.
have no future. In a few months, I'm going to be a weapon of mass destruction. You... You have a family. I have no family! fight. My destiny. <laughs> Dr. Emmerich? Mei Ling. I got the results back. It's official. He's on Shadow Moses Island. We lost Metal Gear Mark II's signal along the way, but the ship was headed in the direction of Shadow Moses. This is a picture of the island taken by a civilian imagery satellite. The sea line is rising due to global warming. Have you heard that the entire Fox Archipelago is about to slip into the ocean? The surrounding islands have already been evacuated. Hmm. Liquid's arrival there can only mean one thing. He is going to use Rex. That's how it looks from here. All the Metal Gears after Rex were embedded with system IDs. Then what about Rex? What did Washington do with it? The nuclear disposal facility on Shadow Moses hasn't been touched since the incident. That was nine years ago. The president of ArmsTech and the DARPA chief were killed, and the secretary of defense was arrested. By the time the Shadow Moses incident was over, there wasn't a single person left there who knew what took place. It was as if nothing had ever happened. The data was either falsified or erased, so no traces would be left behind. We were exiled to desk jobs for the same reason. Rex and the nuke should still be where they were nine years ago. Untouched. A forsaken island. A haven. Well, I'd say it's more like a forgotten island. <coughs> and it's sinking too. I thought I'd never go back. It'll take me a while to get there, but I'll be backing you up from aboard the Missouri. She's the only ship in the fleet still able to move. Since it was decommissioned before the system was put in place. And why is not that far away? Otacon, you're not wearing your glasses anymore. Oh, I... yeah, I... I switched to contacts. <laughs> we rendezvous at Shadow Moses. Submits to heaven shall live. He who defies heaven shall perish. I have to atone for my past, too.
Rex is a beast. Born from my research. Let's go. Shadow Moses awaits. <laughs>